Welcome back. We're in Decatur, Illinois at the Farm Progress Show site and our Farm Progress Show preview series brought to you by Syngenta. Just uh, just over two months away from the start of this year's show, August 30th, 31st, September 1st. Matt Youngman joins us now. Matt, of course, is National Events Manager for Farm Progress. Good to see you. Let, before we talk about the show, let's uh, look back a little bit. You had a very successful Hay Expo. We certainly did. Uh, we, we made our first trip into Minnesota, as we talked about last time, and and we had great response from from the community the host family w was fantastic had uh, it was it was literally record hot the day before the show it was 103 degrees in Minneapolis that day and and so it was plenty warm but that certainly got the hay dried out and we had a really good uh, really good two-day show uh, typically mother nature doesn't agree with us and we can't do dry hay but we certainly did dry hay uh, at, at that hay expo and uh, and hopefully look forward to going back there someday it was it was really successful well, warm weather is something you wish you could get more of here at the Farm Progress Show site in Decatur. That's exactly right. We'd take a string of warm weather. Uh, you'll talk to David in a little bit and and, uh, and and talk about the field demo acres, but uh, but we don't need to be sitting here in long sleeve shirts. We need to get some heat going to get this corn coming along, and really no different than anybody else in the Midwest who's had this this tough spring. Overcast today, temperature in the 70s, which is really comfortable for us but not what you need for a corn crop that needs to really to catch up that that's exactly right we've catching up is what it needs to do and uh, um, you know we're still hopeful we've got over 60 days where we can get get a lot of heat cranked into this corn but uh, but it's certainly got a long way to go well you know going in to have a crop ready to harvest even at high moisture levels by the end of August is a challenge but especially with the a late start like you had this spring had a late start but but um, you know we, we still felt comfortable planting the hybrids we did assuming a normal a normal summer and and we're kind of getting off getting off here very similar it feels like 2009 and in 2009 we had the tough spring and the corn really didn't didn't go along we were able to harvest really high moisture corn but you know the the, the upside if there is an upside to that is that that the farmers no farmers were going at the end of august and, and everybody was able to come to the show we had a really nice crowd in 2009 and hopefully we can repeat that in 2011. So we'll talk more about the crops with David Bricks in just a few moments. Now, let's talk about other things going on. As I mentioned, just over two months away from the show, so you, it'll start really picking up now. Yeah, that's exactly right. If you, if you look around, there the lots are staked out that are either going to get new buildings, like uh, like Bo mentioned. Um, there's a lot of exhibitors that are putting down gravel. Those lots are staked out and ready to go for that contractor to come in. The, the weather's been hard on him, too. Um, in addition to that... We're going to complete 12th Street. So 12th Street will now be a complete through street, which puts us at an exhibit field that's full all the way up to the fences, which is, is, is good news. We've filled it all the way up. You know, the ag economy is good, and the exhibitors are expanding, more exhibitors wanting to come into the event. So like we mentioned earlier in, in, the, in the previous one, sold out for this year's show and, and really looking forward to it. So a lot of exhibitors always like to have more space. Are you able to give them more space or are you just bringing in more exhibitors? Well, we're rearranging a few things. We're bringing in more exhibitors. We've taken the antiques and we're going to put them out here on this drive that goes down to the college, put the riding drives out there, rearrange things a little bit to get as many exhibitors packed into this as we can. Uh, it, it's it, We say that we're expanding and we're growing and, and we've grown and expanded every time we've been to Decatur, but we're kind of pushing the, the limits here of, of, of what we're going to be able to hold the, the, the last thing that can go is the seed plots and put exhibits where the seed plots stand and, and then it's full and then and then we can't go anywhere without real legitimately taking fence out and making the thing bigger. Well that's a good problem to have. It's a good problem to have and, and uh, you know it's something that, that we struggle with is, is how big do you make the thing because uh, we, we certainly want to put on a good show for everybody and, and we want it to be full no matter what year it is and what the economy is doing. We're talking with Matt Youngman, National Events Manager for Farm Progress. Uh, we always want to keep updated as well on Husker Harvest Days, which will be mid-September in Grand Island, Nebraska. How are things going there? Thing, things are good. They, they haven't had any better weather run than, than, than we've had here in Illinois or, or anywhere else as far as that's concerned. Um, a lot of storms come through and, and the cool weather, the, again, out there we need the, the heat to crank up to get that corn coming along. Uh, you know, we've been there for 34 years or so, and, and we've got the hybrids really figured out for what works there, assuming any kind of normal summer. So I'm, I'm back on the, the trying to get the heat cranked into the corn. But in terms of the exhibit field, 
We re rearranged the seed plots a little bit, uh, moved some things around on the exhibit field. Some exhibitors moving and taking bigger exhibits. We're expanding it to the south one more time. So uh, certainly certainly full and, and plenty to see out, out in Grand Island in the middle of September. Well, these outdoor shows, they reflect the conditions that farmers are dealing with uh, throughout the country this year, and a lot of that has been wet and cool. That's that's exactly right. And, and you know, we would we would be worrying in, in the old days, and, and I, it's fun to talk to you about that. You've been through so many of these. At least the thing the thing that we have at both these sites is a, a good strong foundation of an exhibit field and great parking lot. So we're able to have the show, you know, regardless of what Mother Nature throws our way when the show is actually going on. You know, I said wet and cool, and I'm thinking our our listeners in Texas and Oklahoma and Western Kansas, they're thinking wet and cool. That's not our problem this year. Yeah, I was talking to a guy who had family in, in, in west of San Antonio, and then wet and cool isn't what he's talking about at all. So I I I, I should speak more specifically about the Corn Belt here. Those, those folks are going through their own weather troubles. We talked earlier with Bo a concert. You've announced that for this year's show, and that'll be a big part of things. That's that's we've been working on that really since since February. And, and uh, really great to, to bring Massey Ferguson on board to, to present Rodney Atkins. Looking forward to that. That'll be a, that'll make a Wednesday, which is typically the biggest day. That'll make Wednesday, closing Wednesday a lot of fun, and, and we're certainly glad to add to the event. What other details do you work on at this time of year? Right now, the focus is uh, we're two months out from the show. The show program closes in two weeks, and I was just actually talking to Bo about that. Whatever's going to happen at the show, we have to get it decided in the next two weeks. Write about it. Get it. Get it to the editors and ready to go for the show program because if it's happening at the show it doesn't do a lot of good unless it's listed in the program and folks are able to find out about it so we're, we're working hard on all that information so that we can we can cut it loose middle to end of July and uh, and so that's that's really the big focus right now the exhibit feels pretty well set Mark Lover, our operations manager, has already been out here and started staking the exhibits out. We expect to see uh, semis full of tents rolling in in the next two weeks. And so it, in the next two, three weeks, it's going to start looking like a show. We're just putting together the kind of the background stuff so that, so that when we open the gates on the 30th, everything's in place. We'll be back next month. We'll see a lot of that activity at that time. Now, more and more... Uh, information is available uh, online for folks to kind of not only see what's going on but get tickets and, and really be prepared for when they come at the end of August. That's exactly right and we have a we, we have a partnership with a company called Map Your Show which makes the event a lot easier to visit. It makes it easier to do your preparation in advance. It, you can schedule your day, make an agenda, um, you know that in addition to to all, <laughs> all of the uh, the things you can do like buying tickets and reading about the, uh, the, the things going on but the map your show component is really cool because it allows you to pick and choose and select and kind of map out your day so that you can efficiently walk the show. Now, of course, next year it'll be back in Boone, Iowa. How are things going for our friends there? Well, uh, on the weather front, they're actually, I, I spoke with Eric Zeal uh, just yesterday, and, and they have had better weather. They've missed a lot of the big rains, and everything is everything's going well for them as far as crops go in Boone, not quite as bad as what, what we've had around here. Um, the, the facility is, is in good shape. Mark Lovig was out, is, is there today, actually loading trailers to get to get them headed this way. And uh, the exhibit field looks nice. It, it, it's, it is va vacant. Not a lot going on there right now, but uh, we're certainly looking forward to going back there. And, and um, we're going to have a meeting in Boone next week, and we're actually getting the ball rolling for things that are going to happen at the 2012 show in Boone. You always have to be looking ahead. You know, we're going to be doing, uh, starting next month, something we're going to call a Farm Progress Show flashback series, and we're going to talk with people that have been involved with shows in the past and kind of look back and relive some of those times. Uh, it kind of ties in with what we have talked about so often. Now that you have the two permanent sites here in Decatur and the one in Boone, uh, sure, you, you're concerned about crop progress and things like that, but as far as the show itself, the exhibit field, you now have quite a bit of certainty that you can put on the show. That, that's exactly right. And, you know, I think back to those days when we would build that exhibit field out in the middle of a cornfield, and, and it would be, you know, it is a summer full, it was a summer full of work, physically working, trying to get the thing built, just to get the power on and the phone line strong and water to the food stands and just, just those kind of things. And now, uh, I think the visitors would, would be able to see that, that we've been able to work on the finer points of the show now that we're not worrying about just getting the, the electricity on and, and just those mechanical things, services to the, to the grid. And it was a challenge. It was always exciting to hear where the, the show was going to be. Everyone waited for that announcement of where the, the next year's show was going to be. But it was more and more of a challenge to find the right layout, too. Well, and if you look at the exhibits that, 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 these, that, that our customers are putting up, 
uh, they are investing a lot of money into these things. And to have the real possibility that two of the three days would rain out like we had in Henning, that, that is not a wise investment for them. So we had to make this move to, to go to a permanent site. And the exhibitors have responded by putting up you know gorgeous exhibits that they just wouldn't do in the middle of a cornfield. So it, it's certainly a, it, it, it was a big step in the evolution of the event. And also, uh, I, I think about things, we used to talk a lot about traffic flows and parking and things like that. Well, when you come back uh, every two years to the same site, you can look back and say, all right, here's what worked, what didn't, and we can make a little changes there. But you have a pretty good idea, a pretty good game plan going in. That, especially here in Decatur. The, the traffic from day one in Decatur has worked as smooth as, as, as anything. We've still got some work to do in Boone, and, and we're, we're addressing that. But, uh, but you're right. You know, you, you work on the little tweaks and... and Really, the, the, the traffic meeting for, for a Decatur show is, is everybody sits down and says, okay, same as last year, let's do that again. Any construction concerns, no, let's, you know, let's charge ahead with that plan. It's, a, it's certainly a lot easier than when we used to meet every month starting in December before the show when we were doing it out on gravel roads and have all, had all those concerns to work with. It really has changed a lot. Well, just over a couple of months, uh, things will really seem to go pretty fast now, right? The, yeah, it's once Hay Expo's over, it's we're, we have our foot down on the gas for, for Farm Progress Show in Husker. It's, it's pretty well seven days a week from now until about the middle of October. Again, what's the website where they can go for ticket information? Go to farmprogressshow.com. You can get all your information. As we begin to release the show program content, that'll be posted on there. Do your map your show, uh, plan your Day, buy your tickets to the concert, buy your tickets to the show. You can do all that right there. All right. Good to see you, Matt. Thank you, sir. Matt Youngman, National Events Manager for Farm Progress. All right. We've talked a lot about the race with the crops and how we need some warm uh, weather to help that along. The guy who really frets about it, look, his hair's turning gray just standing here talking about it. David Bricks, host farmer, will be with us next. Stay with us on Agritalk.